Right. Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new stream of Russian Fishing 4. Today we are going to go... Poop. I don't know if uh, Ark is too hot right now or... Let's buy a two-hour ticket here. Very rare moment uh, where I'm actually going to troll for two hours. I almost never do that. So, let's get started. I'm going to take my hoodie off. It's kind of it's kind of warm. It's kind of... Take that off first. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right, let's uh, start. Oh, 17 and 18. Dang it. Hopefully 17 is still good temps. Because I think 15 is like ideal, maybe. Not too sure. Gotta make sure. We are in the right track here. Whoops, it's a little too much. Turn a little bit more. Ooh, straight. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> we can stand up and cast out. All right. So let's see what nighttime brings to us. Uh, but hopefully in the morning. Uh... Hopefully in the morning. It's explosive. Jessica, hi. How's it going? Welcome. How's your weekend going? How did your week go? It's the long weekend here. It's Thanksgiving weekend, so I will be streaming uh, today, tomorrow, Monday as well. Huzzah! And I did get Construction Simulator. That video is coming out on Tuesday. I really want to... I, I'm not sure. Maybe Monday I might stream that game. But uh, that's up in the air. That's, you know, two days later. I don't want to think about two days later. <laughs> Ever rocks. How's it going? What's up? Uh, ooh. Yeah. So, I'm checking out that game. I hope Mask was right. Because uh, I'm using, I bought brand new Atomic Raptors. Kaboom. This better work. Two hour rental. Jess, what game are you playing right now? Are you still playing the train sim game? Fifty fifty day wasn't the best, but at least chug two Wendy's trophies. Oh, you got two Wendy's trophies. Okay, okay. That's good, that's good. We just started out, it's nighttime, uh which means, you know, the game is dead basically. 
So we're waiting for morning. I hope we can make at least at least 1200 silver in two hours. Is that going to happen? Honestly, I have no idea. Seventeen and eighteen degree days. I hope that's good. I'm gonna drink tea once uh, morning is upon us and we start getting fish. There's no reason for me to drink tea right now because I'm not catching anything. This spot was okay, but the deep runner was better when it was active. But, so I remember last weekend, last stream, we ended in Archipelago, we ended here. And we were using the deep runners and we did, uh, what, 500, 600 silver in one hour? But I guess the deep runners are dead and now it's the raptors that are working. But I hope we can at least make 500 silver per hour because I paid 200 bucks for a boat rental. So I expect us to, you know, make better money. 650 is pretty good. Mesk, I think, made, what, 545 minutes or something? So I'm hoping we can replicate that for two hours. <laughs> I know some people have the golden RNG ticket at ARC. And some people like myself and Gustav, we do absolute trash, no matter what. Eight hundred eighty silver in one hour is insane. Wow. Oh. I wish, uh, man, I wish Amber was active again for rare carp trophies. I really wanted, you know, I spent a lot of, a lot of time at Amber the past few months, uh, when the 83 spot was super active. Like I was getting one trophy per hour. Uh, several times I got, well, twice I got 28 kg common carp and a 27 kg common carp because blue tags were coming out. So unfortunately I couldn't get that. People were getting rare carp trophies at 83. I tried that a lot and sadly I didn't get that either. And right now, I don't know, Hamburg doesn't seem anything special. So waiting for it to pick up again. We can always go to Amber and uh, go on that Tutti Frutti corn again. Because apparently that's still working, even though it's not as good as before. Yo, where are these fish? Honestly, what the hell's going on? Uh, just spotted to our ticket. I really hope we get some action with Russian sturgeons. I hope I'm not sitting there for an hour with only like two fish caught. So it's always a worry because I have no idea. You said that spot's good. So I'm like, okay. Someone on Discord posted a Russian Sturgeon trophy on a caliber. Um, but as long as we get Sturge here and there, like in an hour, I'm, I'm happy. But thank you. Hey. Our first fish. Xander. Here, Zandy, Zandy, Zandy. 
2.8, okay. Alright, we finally have a fish. I hope uh, everyone's having a great weekend. Uh, do you guys have long weekend? Where you are? Oh, actually, you probably don't. Because right now in Canada only, there it's a Thanksgiving weekend. So we have Monday off. I think next weekend is, is Thanksgiving in US. So they have a long weekend. Which is weird. I was going to say, oh, you know, in North America, long weekend, you know, everyone has it. But no, even Canada and US have it on different days. So <laughs> normal weekend for you. Uh, well, it sucks to suck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Jess, what game are you playing right now? Are you still on the train? Train sim? Or are you checking out something else? Ooh. I like. Something small, but at least it's something. Pikey, 5.4 kg, perfect. Gustav, hey! How's it going? Welcome, welcome. How's your weekend going? Um, I know you were streaming yesterday. I caught a glimpse you were at Ark and you were using the the wacky worm or what are they called? Nasty worm? How'd that go? How did Ark go? Was it the usual or <laughs> was it actually good? Ah. Rheumatic. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Hope y'all are having a having a good weekend. <clears throat> oh, we got something. It's cloudy. That's good. That works in our favor. It's just the temperatures are a little bit concerning because I really don't know what's the ideal temperature, but I feel like we are on the on the high end of the good temps. Winds are good, so we should be good. Mark, hi, how's it going? What's up, what's up? How are we doing here? Three minutes, three markers, okay. Uh, we were trolling for maybe five minutes before we finally got a fish, but it was because it was nighttime. Uh, Sloth, you didn't do too well at Ark. Yikes. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Um, Alga got two weeks off. Can't complain. Nice. It was okay. Deep Runner 003 did really good. We're using Raptors. Maybe I should switch to one Deep Runner and see if that gets more bites. Thank you, Gus. Oh man. I did not come here for okay result. I honestly, guys, did not know what to fish because there's literally not much action going on in the game. Checking Discord, checking VK, I just didn't find anything. So an hour before stream, I just decided, okay, let's go Ark. Let's go Octuba for Russian Sturgeons and Catfish. And then if we have time, uh, we will go Tunguska Small River. Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, poop. Raptor. Raptor, let's get rid of these. And then Deep Runner, huh? Was it this one I was using last week or the 15? I think it was this one. <laughs> 
All right, while we are doing that, let's go ahead and see. So the Russian Sturgeons are on the B, B, uh, what is it? Beak, Bark, Beetle Larva. God damn it. Hold on. I got to check the spelling. Uh, Larva. Uh, bark, be no, not the Bark Beetle Larva. The Rhinoceros uh, Beetle Larva. No, not that either. Uh, mole crickets. I'm sorry. I'm just... I have 18 pieces. So on two rods, I'm going to put uh, mole cricket. On one rod, I'm going to put chaffer larva. Right? Slots. So I'm going to put mole cricket on two and then chaffer. I'm going to put... I'm going to put on the third rod. So hopefully on the chaffer you said we should get sterlets. And on the other two, we should get some Sturge and uh, hopefully bring in a trophy that, you know, 1,200 silver is going to really help towards the third Venja. Oh, <gasps> guys, we got a Gus. Can we visit your new house? Like, can I or anyone else visit your house or is that just a you thing? Ooh, that'll be so interesting. All right, I forgot. Okay, weekly's Russian sturgeon. Damn, 100 kg. Guys, I need this. My first triple digit fish and my first blue tag in one go. Imagine. Look at these. They're all on giblets. This one is a beta larva. You can visit via his profile, Mark. Thank you. So at the end of the stream, we're going to visit his house, his $100,000 cottage. Let's see what he did with this, <laughs> with this money. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, Russian sturgeon, 46 to 69 kg. Okay. Uh, mole cricket we have. Giblets. A lot of giblets and then sterlets. Sterlet. Also on mole cricket. Guys, this is sadness. What the hell is this? You only got wild carps. Yeah. A hey, 2.6 Lidoga. I'm I was really hoping for more bites. Like one after the other type of bites. All right, we'll check out that sturge spot before. I have no idea where that is. I'm gonna, you know, once uh, once we get there, I'll be able to check the map and see where it is. And then we will also go catfishing because since we are already there, why the hell not? Uh, nothing big coming out in terms of catfishing, like looking at people's nets. Uh, but I did notice they're catching like a lot of cats. Uh, within like in one hour and honestly I'm happy with that cuz holy moly 206 kg Wow Yesterday 188 kg on the 120 006. That's what we're gonna use. Where the heck are these guys catching these big ones? I know like the river spots active, but like no one's caught any big ones Uh, Catfish Wow, look at that. Even in other region, all trophies here. That's good. Eight, two of them were today. Nice. Gustav. Add two out or three out. Thank you so much. Uh, Deep Runner 12. Guys, buying a two-hour ticket was a little bit too... Too positive. <laughs> the catfish are so active that your trophy isn't even on the weeklies anymore. That is a good thing for me. Not, not for you, you know, obviously. Oh, it's also B4. What the heck? So the Russians are also active in that same spot. And the cats are active in that same spot. What? 
That's perfect. So right when our boat rental is about to expire, we will just ditch it on land and start. It's B5. B5 Asturgeons. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cats are 94, 96. Sturge are 41, 108. Okay. Never mind. That new train game is so buggy. I don't... <laughs> You don't play it anymore. Oh. Right off the bat. Wow. We might need to go on land. And, uh. Get more, maybe. Ooh. Finally. 6.9 at KG Atlantic. Yes. See, how the hell does Mesk do so good? And Babinog when he was active here? The heck. Okay. Uh, that's a good thing for me, because every day I should... You get messages about where you got your trophy catfish and stuff. Wow, okay, Mr. Popular. Okay, so you did get your catfish, uh, the trophy catfish at 94, 96. Right, that's that's where everyone's getting it, right? Just to be clear here, it's not in the main river, It's it's that... That small spot where I got the 64 kg like two weeks ago. It's still that same spot. Welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey guys, please don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying. Two point three for a moment. It's like, wait, am I reeling in a wild carp? Four point four, okay, it's a little baby here. How are we doing? Twelve minutes, nine marker, six point nine, five, four. Not too bad. The only thing is as long as this bite rate moderately slow continues. We should do good, but if it's like nighttime where it's just one fish in like 10 minutes, then it's not going to be too, too well. Hmm. Monday stream, Monday stream. Laker. Hey. Okay, okay, here we go. One point seven Ladoga. I love Ladoga. I need to Google them again. Are they just as striking in real life as they are in game? Because I know in game, obviously, fish look at their peak or, and sometimes they're exaggerated colors. But man, if the Ladoga is as blue as it is in real life. Let's see here. Ladoga salmon. Oh, is this an imaginary fish? What the heck? No, it's a real fish. Oh, it's like a steelhead. Wow, it looks so similar to a steelhead. Landlocked salmon. What's it? What's this called? Hmm. 
Very interesting. Salmon in Finland. Yeah, look at that. There's barely any blue on the fish. Oh my god, this is so similar to a steelhead. Wow. Hey, I can say that I've caught Ladoga salmons. Okay. What have you caught? <laughs> oh, we got a fish. Okay, okay, okay. Keep him coming. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> oh, what? this a salmon yes it is sick oh what is this game trying to tell me something guys i mean i'm afraid of <laughs> googling what you said <laughs> Madoga, okay. I love big Atlantics. Like, up to, like, I love the 10, 11 kg Atlantics because they barely fight. You get them in within 30 seconds, and they're worth like 70 silver. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. This is a nice sized. Look at this, yes. What is this? Woo! Uh, that is just big enough Atlantic salmon. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm recording. That was insane. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see? Wow. I was I was looking at my phone. I was not even looking at the screen. As soon as my eyeballs went to the screen, I just... I'm like, where the hell is my line? And the fish was in the air. That was pretty darn good. Ele oh my god, yes. 12 kg. This is like 70 silver at least, I think. Oh, perfect. Nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's really good. All right, guys. Let's see here. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh my God! Yes, it is a fish. I was so afraid. Oh, it's a saltwater fish. Okay. Oh, you know, it looks like, um, uh, it looks like, uh, a cichlid almost. That is a beautiful fish. Irish saltwater species. Kukurasa. Kukurase? Razanate. Oh, I fish. We got fish. Yo, that was epic. Even if I catch no fish at all the entire stream after this, I'm gonna still make a highlight video just for that jump. <laughs> My favorite catch, pronounced ra Ras? 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 Okay, okay. Nice. You gotta put that in the highlight. Oh, of course, hundred percent. We're finally catching fish, so I'm kind of super happy. But it's a two-hour stretch, so <laughs> it's gonna be. Oh god, we are going off course. Uh, did I did I get that video? I hope I did. Let's see here. Oh, 
Oh, yes, we did. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, perfect. We got him, boys. Ooh. All right, here's the plan. Uh, at night, when, you know, the, the game just turns into boring fast. Uh, I'm going to restart the game. I'm going to buy more of these uh, deep runners. 6 kgs, Andy. Nice. Okay, I'm going to buy, I think, one more minnow 12. Because the other rods are getting some interesting fish. Yeah, that's a very nice sander. Two point three, yes, that's good money. We're finally doing good. How are we doing here? Oh, we are almost at the tip. Ooh, we got another one. Seven kg Ladoga, nice. Oh my god, we're just back to back. <laughs> Russian Thanos, okay. <laughs> oh, people. Another Atlantic 5.9. Oh, this guy was just one kg less. We would have had three, <laughs> three of them. Okay, is this a smelt? A blue tag smelt? No, it's a non-marker perch. Okay, time for us to turn around. Oh no, I'm... Guys, I'm almost level 39. That is not good. I think I gotta contact Big and ask him uh, where the where the belugas are and how active it is because it's the long weekend I finally have a little bit of time and I really need this look at that 22 minutes 24 markers so you know like four Seven, eight minutes, zero fish, and all of a sudden we are above one fish uh, a minute. Obviously, at nighttime, we're going to take a hit as we always do. But as long as this continues during the day, we should be really good. And you know what, Gus, Gustav, thank you so much. After you gave me that lure, fish started bite biting on the deep runner as well as the atomics so it's the idish because i love i love irish so much i i when i'm taking a shower i rub irish all over my body oh yeah mm -hmm. irish spring love it just such a fresh smell that's the beauty of that deep runner. It works at night for Zandies. Okay, perfect. Got two trophies in different spots. <laughs> Damn. Maybe we can finally get something in our trophy card. <laughs> I want the Valam white fish though. It's such an interesting looking fish. But I think uh, the old Ladoga is the best place for these guys. <laughs> I don't guess. Uh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no. Yeah, guys, hmm. 
I don't want to ask big right now. It's okay. There we go. So last stream, if you guys remember, after so many months, we came back to Archipelago. And what did we hook into? A bloody Baltic Sturge. And I was like, hey, I'm going to alt F4. Because it was burning our Tagara. And I was like, guys, I'm alt F4. It's, it's not worth it. And you guys are like, no, no. Reel it in. Reel it in. It's entertainment. And I was like, fine. And I'm glad I listened. Because uh, it was only like, what? A 10 minute fight? Under 10 minutes? And it was like a 33, 34 kg Baltic, 130 silver. Easy money. Even though we were doing so good then that uh, I was told that we actually lost money by spending that much time. We could have made more money. So, all I want is a Ladoga Sturge because I don't have that fish yet. But obviously, you know, they're, they're rare. Ooh, today, what? Yeah, today's the 8th. Nice. Oh. That was a jump. Slight one. A tiny little smelt, perhaps. Ooh. Oh man, too small, not even big enough to be chopped up. Oh yeah, I remember when Bavanuk was active, you know, during springtime or early spring. Uh, I remember um, streaming the game with him. World War 3 or something? It was an early access. Where is that game right now? World War 3? Video game. Where is that game right now? Oh my god, mostly negative. Ouchie. Damn, they screwed this game up big time. 11,000 reviews recently and it says mostly negative. Ouch. <laughs> oh man, poor Bav. Uh, no, not the angler. What? 
How did Angler come in here? I'm talking about Bavanook. Uh, it was a shooter game that Bavanook and I uh, streamed together, and he used to play it all the time. Uh, early earlier this year. So, uh, World War Three is the name of the game. So I just googled it right now, and on Steam, it's mostly negative. Uh, the Angler is not negative, it's mixed reviews now. So a lot of people, you know, who don't know anything about fishing, or video games for that matter, just gave it a positive review. Come on, man. Why couldn't you be a smelt? It seems all the lures, like, get bites all together. During a certain time, all, all lures are active and then they go inactive. Like for the past, you know, like what, five minutes now? We aren't really getting any bites. Yet we need to turn. Belugas. Lots of trophies. Daniel. No trophies. Gibble Carp. Here we go. I wish there were just more to do at Sura. You know, the only time people go to Sura is, you know, when the big heads are active, like a week or two ago, or silver carps, or roach trophies, but that's at the pond, so that doesn't even count. And honestly, that's it. In the main river, deep end, it's just randomness, you know, you might get a sterlet here, you might get a wild carp there, you might get a catfish, and that's pretty much it. got something. I need something to take out lion but with ferocity. Because when something takes out lion with ferocity it means it's not a sturge. 
probably an Atlantic or maybe a Ladoga trophy or something. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, okay. Other one's down now. See, like all, like both lures are getting same amount of bite rate. So the deep runner's getting bites here and there. The raptor's getting bites here and there. So I don't know if I should, uh, maybe, no, we should buy another deep runner. Ooh, six kg pike for nighttime. So we can get those zandies. Oh, damn, right off the bat. Okay, I like that. Okay, a small Atlantic, perhaps. Six kg minimum. Please be, oh no, it's a pike. 5.4, okay, okay. Thirty six minutes, thirty two markers. Good quality fish. Welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. I, I hope you've uh you're having a good week. You're having a great weekend. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already joined this awesome community and helping us achieve the subscriber goal of 10 new subs during streams uh, this month. I'll be having an additional stream this Monday, so today, tomorrow, and after tomorrow. Yeah, Angler has mixed reviews. It, uh, when the game came out, the first few days, it was mostly negative, uh, but as more people reviewed it, it became uh, mixed. And I don't like that. It needs to be negative. Two hundred people are playing it. Wow. Filthy casuals. Yeah, I really, really want to stream uh, Construction Simulator now. The idea just won my head. <laughs> any good, oh, any good catches? Uh, uh, no, uh, nothing good, but a lot of decent catches. I'll show you my uh, net in a second here. We'll bring both of these fishies in. Two point three. Nothing double digit either, sadly. But who knows? We are here for two hours, so all right, we got eleven kg, seven kg. Look at the six point nine, six point nine kg Atlantics game trying to tell me something here. Zandy, Pike six kgs. So nothing special, uh, but just, I think, good quality fish for the size they are. As long as this boring continues, boring is good, boring is money. Not sure, haven't seen much come out of. Welcome everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Xander? Unsure. No, another pike. 5.6 kg pike. What's with these pikes today? 
They weigh like a brick, just like a Xander. Here we go. Another one, not as big, but... DT Gaming, hey, how's it going? How is your wound doing? I hope you are healing spectacularly. 3.9, 4kg pike. Time to turn around. Did we already? Okay. For a moment, I was like, did we hook into a fish already? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, let's turn around. It's healing probably another week. Okay. Nice. That's good. That's good. Good to hear. Besides that, I hope your week's been going good. DT, it's Thanksgiving for you guys next weekend, right? Uh, playing the hell out of Grounded, I like that survival game. I, You're just getting a tier 2 equipment. Ah. Oh, it's next month for US. Okay, okay. I played Grounded when it was released in like early access or whatever. I love the concept. You know, honey, I shrunk the kids. That's basically it is. Um, but honestly, it was just nothing special. But it has been like, what, over a year now? Since they released uh, Early Access, so hopefully there's a lot more to do in the game. Oh, it's fully released. Hot damn. Okay, okay. Halloween is this, mon this month. Uh, Thanksgiving is next, okay. It's so weird how U.S. and Canada have two different Thanksgiving dates. It's a, it has a story and everything. Cool. I might need to check it out because I really like the concept. Okay. Oh, oh I really... He really wants to fight, huh? What's this going to be? 3.5. Wow, that is a very strong Xander. What are these things? They've been eating lead. Like, look at this one too. That's a Zandy as well. Yep, yeah, that's Zandy as well. 3.3 kg. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. You should get good silver. Hell yeah. But I got another, you know, I got another hour to go. So hopefully this continues. And I'm so glad, like, you know, our deep runner isn't the only lure that's active. Uh, the raptors are doing pretty good as well. So I don't know if we should go back on land and buy another deep runner and have two deep runners and one raptor. I don't know. Uh, you guys, you guys tell me. <laughs> I hope it's on fire. We got some good quality stuff. So yeah, that is some good money. Thank you. Oh, here we go. We got another one. Yes, that's, that's the activity I want. Oh, oh, it was just jumping. Man, it'll be so good if we can get it, get a trophy of anything besides the smelt <laughs> and perch. No, I want a perch trophy too, because I don't have a perch trophy here. I'll even take that. Beggars can't be choosers. Wait, I don't have a perch trophy, do I? I do not. Look at how puffed up this perch looks. Perk. Percussion grenade. Big brained.
smelt oké. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Gus said Deep Runner is good at night because since it's like it, it's good for Xanders. This is five meters. The Raptor is four meters. So at five meter, I guess is the golden point for Xandies. Joan, hi, how's it going? What's up? Guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. Oh, tell your friends about the channel. We need more subs. <laughs> Recently, we hit over 2,000 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much, guys. They're all, we're, we're above 2K. Let's hope we hit 3K, you know, in under a year. Let's speed things up. <laughs> um... How is the game that you're playing? Is it good? Ooh. What game, Mr. DT? Joven, good. You're doing good. Sold 70 spiders today. Okay. Mr. Spider Arm Stealer. Oh. Oh. Is that fish going to jump? No. Something just hit our line, but uh, I didn't hook. That happens actually at Ark. It's nothing, nothing new. So someone was using the squirrel lure at Yama. And they're making, you know, like a lot of silver per hour. But it was on VK, so... No, it might not work for us. Most likely it will not work for us. Uh, but that's really interesting. Something this big at Yama and it works. It's the end of the season, that's why. I see. Hey, that fishy came back. Yeah, I just, uh, what do you call it? You know when you drew, do your driveway? Ooh, 4.2222. Kiji Ladoga, very nice. I sealed my driveway today, so my back's a little sore. It's way too late in the season to be doing that because uh, they say make sure your midnight, like overnight lows are at least 10 degrees Celsius. And like it's going 6 degrees Celsius at night nowadays. We had frost last night, so <laughs> uh, it was really late. Wow, did you see how fast that hit? Damn, that rod just disappeared. Ah, uh, pike. Damn, I just threw it. Fisher hungry. Oh, oh, we're gonna chop him up. We are going to chop him up. You're going to troll Tunguska? Good luck. So one rod has the deep runner minnow, two aught non of fluffy hooks. Uh, the other two have the raptor, zero, zero, 009, two aught hook. 13 a meter a hole. You got your fourth trophy broad whitefish. Congratulations. This seemed a little too easy for you. Hey. Damn it. I should have gone beluga fishing today for stream. Because I can do a longer stream if I have to. I 3.6. Yes. The Zandies aren't here, but everyone else is. 
The Xanders are late to the party. Actually, I think it's at like, what, 1, 2 a.m.? The bites, the bites complete di completely die out. So, I'm not going to go on land because, I mean, damn, we're still getting fish. So, uh, there's no need. Uh, guys, I am gonna AFK for just a minute. Okay, hopefully, you know, we don't get spooled and our reel melts down. Hopefully none of that. I will be right back. Okay. Fish on every rod. Nothing too big. Ooh, 
5 kg that's quality hair Oh, ripus, ripus, rip. Okay, could this be a possible Xander? No, it's Ladoga, yes. Oh, whoops. Wow, last night, no fish. Tonight, this night, I mean, decent fish. Uh, it's been just over one hour. I think it's it's been like, what, maybe one hour, 10 minutes, one hour, five minutes. And uh, we're still doing pretty good. 11 kg are only double digit fish. Let's see if we can hopefully get another one or two in the next hour of uh, trolling uh, session. We'll... Will Ark troll us or uh, will we troll Ark? Find out. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Stay away from us, you're gonna get burned. Uh. I hope so. I, I hope it uh, remains active like this for the next hour as well. Yes, sir. Is there anything else coming out this year? Any good games? Like triple the triple A titles, <gasps> I think Starfield, right? That game's coming out in Jan or Feb next year. Can't wait for that. Uh, besides that, this year, anything this year? I don't even remember the last time I played a triple A title. I played uh, what is it, Dead Island Two? No, Dying Light Two. Honestly, it's kind of a disappointment. First one was so good. Yeah, triple A's, honestly, for so many years now, it's been just so disappointing. Broken releases left and right. Cyberpunk, I think, was the last one. Uh, no Man's Sky getting huge updates, and it sounds really good. And I really want to play that game again, but the issue is, it's like... There's, there's no direction, it gets boring so quick. And it breaks my heart, because there's so much content in that game such a pretty game but it's just ugh, it needs more it needs a lot more because if we take minecraft for example i mean there is no story but there's so much you can do you can literally build things you can mine you can build and that is such a special thing all in itself and and no man's sky you can't really build like that you know, you have like preset items to build a base and that's pretty much it. So. I only know GT is coming in early 2020. Slots, that's bloody 2024. Okay. <laughs> We're two years away. Uh, but NMS, yeah. No Man's Sky, it's the greatest rebound ever in gaming history. What a letdown they were at the beginning, and now look, they are just spectacular game. I wish that's how it was released. Alright, come on, Sanders. Let's turn around here. It's actually almost 4 a.m., so the time is about to start again for fish. Uh... So basically, what? Really? Nothing in December? I wanted, uh, I was wondering where the hell the Need for Speed went. I haven't heard from that title in a while. But I don't know if there's a Need for Speed this year. Uh, besides that, any indie games, any simulators coming out? 
I know you guys were so hyped up about farming sim 22 or whatever and honestly guys I know I've already said this on one of the streams it looks so disappointing honestly I don't know what what like why you guys were so sold on it it looked exactly like farming simulator 19 the only new thing was there were what animal husbandry you can grow grapes now bees like that's it so i mean hey it's you guys are into that stuff i don't understand but i was just disappointed because even now there's still no snow mods for the latest farming sim game okay and like winter's here winter's coming and i wanna you know mod snow and plow snow and make episodes on that but i can't um atrio hello how's it going the internet historian video about nms might be the best youtube video of all time now uh there is a new need for speed i need to google this is it this year need for speed unbound what the hell what's unbound <gasps> oh my god need for speed unbound official revealed no wait is that <gasps> it is a new need for speed yes please don't be garbage Outsmart the cops take on weekly qualifiers. Ew. Not online garbage. No. What is this? Back to the top. Run these streets. Blah, blah, blah. Look, guys. Hear me out, okay? Underground 2 was the greatest Need for Speed title ever made. It was honestly the most complete arcade racing game we've ever seen and all they had to do was make an underground 3 improve what was already in underground 2 add cops to it and that would have been the most complete arcade racing game ever made but no they were like you know what underground 2 is not good enough let's make something completely different and since then it's just it went downhill so uh snow is default in farming now and snow equipment right but like i want accumulating snow can i do that like if i want one meter of snow jessica can i do that i need like a concrete answer to that because i can't find anything on it on the internet If someone confirms that yes there is accumulating snow you know change seasons blah 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 and then you can have snow as much as you want then yes uh, underground 2 is still my absolute number one yes thank you jess it's my favorite one too it just has such good memories i used to be in high school and there were so many things in that game it's insane even if they were the simplest things, it was just, it was so good. You guys remember like for magazine covers, there were picture spots. So you had to like go into a spot, you could speed, you could drift into that spot and like they would take a photo of it and then they would show you your car on the magazine. <laughs> it was such a simple thing, but like it made such a big impact. It was amazing. Uh, we rally two on PlayStation's the greatest racing game of all time. Ooh okay okay i don't know most uh wanted was really good look most wanted was yeah most wanted was really good as well and all they had to do was combine underground 2 with most wanted and honestly that would have been the most complete title ever they didn't need to make any more need for speed titles after that because it would have been so complete but they just they went downhill after that you're right uh, not as much as you want, but there will be appearing set layer of snow in winter months. See, that's the issue I have. So there isn't accumulating snow. It's bare minimum. And, uh, and there is no mod to make it accumulate further. The soundtrack for Underground, oh my god. Wow. Man, I miss Underground too. Underground was so good too. 
how Underground 2 was such a big improvement. It was an open world game. Like, that's insane. Uh, Florin, hi, how's it going? Forza, I have played Forza. 6.8. I have played Forza, but the issue is... It's just... What am I racing for? Like, fame? That's so stupid. Like, what am I gonna do with fame? You know, like, I need... I need a, an objective. You, uh, so the game I really liked, like really, really liked was, uh, you know, the racing game in Hawaii. What was that game called? You could buy cars, you could buy like houses, or property, stuff like that. That game was so good. Because after winning races, you would you would get money. You can spend it on better cars or you can buy properties. Test Drive Unlimited. Yes, there we go. If, if Forza had something like that, hell yeah, I would have enjoyed that game a lot. I played Forza a little bit, but I just got bored. It seems so empty. Uh, yeah. Most fun to plus underground two equals perfection. <laughs> oh man, you play Russian fishing. Can you tell me how to do level fast? Oof. Um, the best way is as soon as you have uh, trolling. Trolling is the best way. Trolling Cory or Volkov if you have the equipment. Because you catch a lot of fish and they add a lot of XP very quick. Uh, that's what I was doing when I was new. 3.6. Okay, finally, fish are biting. Test drive 2. I love that you could add your own soundtrack. Damn. Another Rippus. Yeah. Oh, you had to do driving tests too. Oh my god, some of them are so hard in uh, test drive. All right, so what is this? What is this Unbound? What is this new title about? Is this underground racing? Like street racing? Okay, okay. It's street racing, tuning up cars. All right, we're on the right track here. Yo, what is this trailer? Like, all I see is hoodlums. <laughs> the hell is this? Like, this guy's pants are falling. Bro, you need, you need a belt. Okay, there's cops in the title. And if it's unbound, that's pretty trashy trailer, but okay. Oh, we got fish. We got fish. Uh, you loved zero damage emissions. Oh my god. That was a proper pay uh, like test of patience. Because I remember uh, undamaged emissions, they weren't on a timer. So you could go slow if you wanted. But hot damn, I could not go slow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Driver, ooh. I remember playing one of the original Driver. Was that title in the 90s? And did that take place in like Florida Key West? Because I remember I played a game like that when I was a kid, just for a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Hmm.
All right, how are we doing here? Uh, one hour, 20 minutes, I would say. We have 60, 70 minutes, 56 fish. How are we doing here? Eight fish in eight minutes, cool. Oh my God. 16 fish in 26 minutes, but that's nighttime, so it's okay. 11 kg is still our biggest, but we're doing decent. <laughs> we are so old. <laughs> no, Jess, no, please don't say that. <laughs> No. Angelo. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's up? Oh boy. The stupid uh, chat server is starting to spaz out again. Every time. Every stream this happens. And I'm really sold, guys. Monday stream, construction simulator. That'll be the stream. Um, yeah. You know what? That'll be the stream. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and talk to Big and see if the belugas are really active, like last stream. If they are, uh, I might do a stream tomorrow for belugas. It's going to be super boring because obviously, you know, it's going to be like one, two fish per hour. Uh, but if we do get a big one, I mean, that that's going to be fun. I really need 100 kg. <laughs> Everyone says I sound really young, and I really appreciate you guys. It, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but no, I, I'm a lot older than I sound. Ooh. Now, usually I'd go ahead and say this is a Xander. Yes! Oh, please don't be a Sturge. Please don't be a Sturge. That's on the Venge. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We're gonna overheat. Oh, my God. What is this? Is that a Sturge? It wasn't taken out line super fast. Sturge don't fight like that. Oh, thank God. Okay, maybe a, maybe a nice sized uh, Atlantic. Oh yeah, it's bashing its head. Okay. Stop. Uh, how do I stand up? Okay, there we go. That's an Atlantic, yes. Okay, we got loads of line, so we don't need to worry about getting spooled. He's not really running that much. Finally, my god, yes. I don't remember the last time we had a 20 kg fish in this. I don't think I've ever caught a 20 kg, kg fish here. Besides the Sturge. Three hundred meters of line we have. Alright, Ventcha. <laughs> Show us your magic. Hey, hit that like button while uh while you watch the fight and wait for to see what this is. Eighty percent sure this is an Atlantic, okay. I think it's an Atlantic. It's small enough where you can see the tension just goes down all of a sudden, like it's bashing its head around. When it's a stir oh, when it's a sturge, like it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't. It's heavier. This is the most excitement I've had <laughs> at Archipelago in months. I hope it's way over 23 kg. I've... I've pulled in. 17, 18 kg is no sweat, but obviously... Different... Different fish have a lot of different strengths. 
Hopefully this is like a really old guy, you know, he's barely fighting. So, you know, he's a lot bigger than, uh, than he's fighting for. Blue tag Ladoga Salmon. Imagine that. As a first blue tag with a blue colored fish. That is, that'd be super, super epic. And I'm so happy it's on the Venja, guys. It's not on the Tagara. Anything that pushes the Venja is is good sauce. Hmm. Oh, you know what? People say walk back, but I don't think that does anything. Only when the fish is dead, I think, and you're trying to bring it in. We still got a lot of line to go. Yeah, I think it does a tiny bit, but then I gotta walk up front. Walk up again, and that takes it out. Damn. Uh, you saw a guy get a 32 kg Atlantic Salmon. Even with the Triumph, it was running like a rocket. Hey, look, I'm super happy it's not a Sturge. Okay, so give me a long fight. I, I'm happy. Unless, you know, like, <laughs> we don't have much line left, then, then I'm going to start freaking out. Oh, boy. Angie. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day, 12.6 degrees Celsius. That's literally the weather outside today in real life. It's like a 12 degree high today, uh, but it's not super sunny. It's kind of windy and maybe a little cloud here and there. Yeah, very angy fish. Ah, uh, Florin. You did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> he was so bad, of course. <laughs> uh, you're never getting invited back. Uh, Angela, you're going for carps again in real life. Nice. All the best. Well, I hope we fight this thing for another 10 minutes. That's <laughs> the back here. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Man, I, I want this guy to be really big. Really big. I can all tab out and see how long I've been recording for. Because uh, I started recording as soon as my rod slammed down and the line was going out. But I don't want to all tab out because you can see there are moments where it's almost slack. So I just constantly am shift reeling in. Keep fighting, keep fighting, Fishy, keep fighting. You can do it. Let's drink coffee here. Big is also drinking coffee at the same time. Maybe he has a Sturge or a Beluga on. Nice. 
Um, guys, the only thing I'm stressed out right now about is Fish Getaway, FGA. I don't know why, it's just... Ah. So worried about it. I think all of our hooks are brand new. There shouldn't be any damage on them. Because recently I've been throwing out all of my hooks, all the expensive ones that have 0.1% damage on them. Uh, I just hope none of these have damage on them. He's still fighting. That's good. Imagine if this guy jumps in the air. That'd be epic. He jumps in the boat. Um, no. Oh, uh, so a uh, big fought a beluga for two hours, and I think the fish was dead. And he was, you know, very slowly bringing it in, and it FGA'd. Uh, someone else as well. After a very long fight, fish got away. And that is just stupid. That shouldn't be in the game. And honestly, uh, it should be coded in. Like, after, after a certain amount of time of fighting a fish, it shouldn't get away. Like... It's a video game, you know? <laughs> it needs to be challenging, but also fun. But if after you spend one hour fighting a fish in real life, in real, like a real life hour, it shouldn't be able to get away unless you do something really stupid. Yep. <laughs> Angela, you saw the Discord, right? Like in the chat, it was like I was there. And I'm like, wait, what the hell am I saying? How am I in this chat? And then I remembered, oh yeah, it was such a long time ago. And the Sturge was right in front of him and he couldn't get it and it just fish got away. It's coded like that, actually. <laughs> yep, I am at 29 break, that's good. Yeah, I think it's not hard-coded, like, it, there is still a chance of FGA, like I just said. Uh, like, we have facts. You know, like, big, after a two-hour fight, the fish was dead. The beluga was dead. It still fish got away. <laughs> gonna, gonna. If it's gonna, it's gonna. Hey, I'm happy this fish is still, you know, fighting a little bit. I remember, vividly remember an actual patch note about this a long time ago. Maybe I'll find it. I think it was just a lie. <laughs> yeah, but like, honestly, it makes sense. It should be a thing, right? All right. Uh, man, I want to all tab out, but I just, I'm too scared. It's okay. Man... Gus, I wish we could do, I really wish we could do, uh, uh, what is it? September fest, September, you know, SUB, subathon. I wish YouTube had something like a subathon, uh, cause I really, really, really wanted to do it recently. And, um, there is a counter that people use that works, that makes it possible to do a subathon, but it only works with Twitch. Uh, so I Googled around, I just found no information. As a YouTuber who's like, as a streaming a YouTuber, you can't do anything like that. So that's a major letdown. Because, like, some days, you know, like, I want to do, hey, for every, you know, uh, every new subscriber, like, I'll increase the stream time by, let's say, half hour.
YouTube is so far behind. They just don't care. Like, they're so slow in implementing things. It's been a 13-minute fight now so far, guys. Do you listen to... No, I do not. Wantley. Hello, how's it going, first of all? Uh, no, I don't barely listen to music. Do you have a reserve boat ticket? Yes, I do. Thank you for asking. I do. I have a two-hour boat rental and I have a one-hour backup of boat rental, so. Welcome everyone to the stream. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. This weekend there'll be a three-day stream. Today, tomorrow, and Monday. Okay, we are we are close. We're getting close. It's still a bit out. I have no idea. Dammer? Never heard of it. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. So you're supposed to keep the rod up as up as possible. It's a great show. Nice. What's it about? Is it a comedy show? Is it a serious show? Is it a crime? Disturbing but brilliantly made. <laughs> okay. We almost have this guy. Yeah, he dove down. Signs of an Atlantic. Okay, good. Man, he's not a trophy. It's too short. Too short of a fight, but... Uh, I just hope it's at least... What? 23... 23 kg? At least? Oh, the serial killer. Twenty nine point seven kg. <laughs> How dare you? Seventeen. No, look, seventeen kg Atlantics. I brought in within thirty seconds. Several, several times. So I refuse to believe it's 17 kg. What the heck is this? The heck is this? Go back, you idiot. Guys, what the hell is this? Atlantic my foot. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna run, isn't he? The net is on him. Who told me that this is a salmon? Who the hell told me this is a salmon? I hate you. I hate you all. I'm I'm done. Goodbye guys. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. Well, thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you. Ah. I was, uh... Wow, where did we float off to? It fought like a salmon, didn't it? It was so different. Like, last week, you know, on Sunday when we did the stream, we also got a 30 kg Baltic. Um, but it burnt. Oh yeah, you know what, that's a Tagara. It burnt our Tagara. For a long time. But this was a Venja, so it didn't burn. So, 
uh, that is like 120, 130 silver. I think, hopefully, you know, it, it makes up for it. It gives us some good, some good money and we didn't lose any money, but got one more level to unlock Archipelago on your alt account. Good luck. I think this is why we play RF for the game finds ways to surprise you in the worst ways. <laughs> We are at 20 likes. Thank you so much for all the likes, guys. A damn 30 kg ball take. One hour I streamed the last weekend. I trolled hair for one hour. We got a 32 kg ball tick. Today, two hour stream. Sorry, two hour trolling session. We get one 30 kg ball tick. I hope this doesn't become like a normal thing. We've been level 23 for a month, not even halfway. That was just... Ah. Let's see. Let's see what Baltics have come out this week. Bucket. Damn. 218 kg. 161 kg. Wow. My biggest Atlantic is 19.24 kg at Archipelago. No clips. Hi, how's it going? What's up? Um, Atrio, you got a 79 kg Baltic at Ark and it destroyed your Tagara, so it could be worse. Oh, definitely. I mean, last week that 32 kg Baltic was overheating our Tagara for such a long time. But it died quick though, so... Uh, imagine hooking a 250 kg. I mean, if it's a trophy, honestly, I'll take it. Even if we lose money in the end, you know, with the boat rentals, it's a very hefty trophy. So I will take it. <laughs> Clown ball. <dude. laughs> All right. Are the are the fish gonna bite or? What's our plan? Oh yeah, we're going after uh, sturgeons next. Deep runner, yin yang. Uh, 12S003. Dramatic, hello. 50 minutes to get a 61 kg Baltic with Takara. Damn. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now, we got our Baltic on... on the Raptor. Safer carp gear, nice UL setup. Well, which one will you be using more? If you're gonna go to Amber and you enjoy carps, then the choice is easy. Because with the carp gear, you're gonna make a lot of money. With UL, you're gonna make a lot of XP, but not necessarily money. The only place you'll start making money with UL is uh, Tunguska and Yama. Two hundred kg for a Baltic trophy. And that Sturge scared off all the fish in the area. Thank you, Sturge. What the heck? Matt, hey, how's it going? Welcome. You're using the yellow raptor, yeah I'll uh uh, Raptor 60-4009. There's something big on <laughs> Uh, so, you know, when I was at Bilea, I think everyone feels that way, like they want to cast further. And it just bothers you, you don't enjoy it. But, hey, I got this Grayling Trophy with a heavy rod. Like, I barely cast it far enough and I ended up still getting a Grayling Trophy there. 
Um, I was new, so you know, maybe my account was flagged as, hey, have some good RNG. Um, I didn't even try, I just, I just got the trophy. So, you got a grading trophy on starter setup. <laughs> nice. Nice, right at shore. Yeah, exactly. Um, what was I going to show you guys? Uh, heavy. I don't, I don't know if it was on this, this one, the heavy 15 kg or if it was on the, the really crappy, I think it was on the, oh no, it was on the dynamic. Yeah, 15 to 45 gram test. I think it was on the dynamic that I got the guy on. So. You always have the RNG. Yeah, Angelo has some crazy RNG. Angelo uh, Slots has insane RNG, actually. He's always posting trophies. <laughs> perch, 1.1. Come on, give me a trophy perch. Let's go. Score card. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Uh, what a surprise. We were all thinking, you know, it's a, it's a salmon. It's not acting like a big fish. Uh, but little did we know. <laughs> it was a darn sturge. A bucket sturgeon. So, 12, 13 minutes it took us. You can catch carps on low gear as long as you can't get spooled. Sturgy boy. I know, exactly like last week. Last week, last hour of the stream, we came trolling and we got like a 32 kg Baltic, so... Two point four kg sandy. Hello, welcome back. Why did it dive down? I don't know. Sturge do that too. They dive all the way down. As soon as they hit. Anything good? Uh just a sturgeon. Ooh. A red char. 1.3 kg. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not worth much money, but uh, it's just a beautiful color. So it's a different fish, so. We have a 30 kg Baltic, 7.88 kg Atlantic salmon. So that's about it. So hopefully, you know, we, we make some good money here. 1200 silver is what I want because 200 silver goes to the boat rental which leaves us with 1000 silver which means we made 500 silver per hour. I got here some nice reds and 1 kg gray. He's like 40 silver? What? This red char 40 silver? I hope so but I feel like he's too small to be worth too much money. That's a uh, red char. Gray char, my biggest one I've got trolling. Uh, this archipelago. Red char. What's my biggest red char? 2.7 kg at archipelago. And then uh, gray char. 2.8 kg gray char as well. Yeah, we're way more than 200. Oh, well. that's, a, that's a relief, Jess. 90% <laughs> of the time I was acting like a salmon. Yeah. I felt it too. Like, I thought it was a salmon as well. This sturgeon, 
you know, especially even a 30 KT, like acted very heavy. Zandy. Zandies are good money, so I welcome I welcome them. So Kingfisher, we're going basic bottom. We're going uh seventy four kg line. Nine hundred gram perch. Let's go ahead and turn around. And then after turning around, we are gonna start setting up for the Russian sturgeons. Cause why the heck not? Hey. Oh. Uh, Russian sturgeon spot is forty one one zero eight. Thirty meter clip. That is B five B as in Bob. Mole crickets. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we want for our weight? Do we want a heavy weight like 90 gram? Take this out. We already have a fish. Berserk, 0%. We need mole, mole, mole. Easter, the Siberian, Russian sturgeon. Wow, most of my- oh my god, I don't have any Russian sturgeon mix. That sucks. That's not good. So I'm gonna have to make new. Yeah. Sturgeon mix. Aha, that's the no proper one. So I'm going to have to make this before I forget. All right, mole cricket on one. Second one is mole cricket as well. Oops, this is uh, basic bottom. 90 gram. Four aught. Region mix. Okay, and then third one. Uh, let's go with forty-five kg. We cannot. We cannot full break because my tagar is so damaged. And then larva. Perfect. There we go. All right, we are ready. Sturge. All I got to do is set the clip. And if possible, I want to make um, PBA for regular Russian sturgeons. Yeah, that's why on the Shaffer larva, I'm not putting PBA. Melt. Yeah, we got a few schmelts. Smelt. Hey, we only have three, that's good. Zandies, we have a few. One red char, loads of pikes. Uh decent amount of Ladogas, Baltic, Yuck. Atlantic, we have a few. 4.4 to 12 kg almost. 
41108 is mixed bought a lot of belugas Russian stretch today biggest beluga 70 kg nice uh try size one hook all righty i'm going all on what you're saying uh maga zero percent damage perfect Okie dokie. Forty-one, one wait. Twenty meter clip. I mean, if we can end up getting a hundred kg beluga, <laughs> I'll be so happy. That's just that's just the one last goal I have in this game, at least before level forty. That's the main goal. The side quest is obviously, you know, getting as many trophies as possible. Um, and then another side goal, or not not a goal, but like at Amber, I either want a blue tag, or I really, really, really want uh, a rare ghost trophy. Alright, thank you. Slots. Yeah, as long as we get a few sturge per hour, like I'll be I'll be happy. With Calibro. Damn. Your friend got a 93 kg blue gun two to five hours with help. On a caliber. Damn. That is insane. <laughs> 93 kg. You guys are kind of insane. Going after sturgeons with calibers. Do you guys discard your hooks at 0.1% damage? Yes. Yes, we do. Um, I was recently told as soon as you get 0.1% damage on your hook, uh, the FGA, the fish getaway chance, increases a lot. Which is so stupid, but it makes sense because, I mean, even the smallest damage on your line, right? Like, it reduces its, its, uh, its strength. So why should hooks be indestructible? Your point two, but no FGA. I mean, obviously it's RNG, so you're really fortunate. <laughs> oh no, select the next ticket. <gasps> Our rental's about to be over. No, it's not enough. It's not enough. I need more. <laughs> Please, 1200 silver. Please. 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 <laughs> Don't do it stupid. 980 silver, that's not good enough. Not good enough. What the hell? Look at this. 41 minutes, 16 fish. Obviously, 20 minutes was because of this. This Baltic. Down. Forty seconds left. Hopefully, there's some nice cafe orders. Come on, come on, come on. Give me something here. Weekly record Siberian Sterlet, 8.9 kg. There is an active Siberian Sterlet spot. I watched the video on VK. Uh, <clears throat> but like, it's only, you know, three or four Sterlets per hour you're gonna get, and that is, 
a very patient type of fishing. 1kg pike, 2kg Xander I think was in the cafe. Nice. That's good. That's something. Ugh. Booga 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 booga. Oh uh, man, no fish. When a fish. Let's put the venga. <gasps> oh, that's the Tagara. Okay, let's put the Tagara. Wait, what? Oh, they're both okay. Uh, this one 42% damage. What's wrong with this one? 16% friction break. No, thank you. This one is 17% friction break. What the hell? 17%. Why am I going back? This is 16.7%. Okay, well, <laughs> we will go ahead with that. Look at all that smoke coming out. Alright, let's see how much we've earned in two hours of trolling. Uh, Zandy, we have... One piece. 51 silver, guys. Remember that. 50... 97 silver... 97 silver. Do I have anything else? No. Oop. 97 silver. Alright, that's pretty good. 97 silver. Where am I going? Whee! Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. I am... Fighting for my life. There we go, okay. 97 silver in two hours we made. Yeah. Over 1,200 silver. 200 silver goes to boat rental, which means we made 1,000 silver in two hours, which means we made 500 silver per hour. I am happy with that. Anything lower, and honestly, it's too. It's not worth it. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Very good. Nice. Baltic, 132 silver. Um, Atlantic Salmon's here. Look at this. 12 kg, 71 silver. Then we have two 6.9 kg Atlantics, 41 silver each. Uh, wow, 20 silver red char. Look at that. 1.3 kg is 20 silver. It's pretty good for how small it is. So good stuff. Uh, Xander's... Yeah. Super happy with that. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Thank you. Oh, my God. We actually had a good trolling session. I can't believe it. How rare is this? Jessica, Angelo, Sloth, Atrio, No Clips, Matt. Thank you all. All right. Who's messaging me? Gus. Blanks. Okay, uh, <clears throat> changes are being made here. That gable, is that alive? Because if it's live, I'm legit going to put it on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we are asking for trouble. I know it's just one. Bait fish. Uh, I might need to put a... Four odd... Thank you, Gustav, for the donation. All right, let's go. Uh... Ah, your perch bait spot. Okay, damn it! Oh, well, gibbles are uh, gibbles are working though. 
Oh no, there's a thunderstorm tomorrow. No. 74 will be fine, I think. Uh, put on bigger line, no leader. No, 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 no. No trophy beluga, no. No. Ah, uh, poop. Yes, 74 is too small. We gotta we got put 80. But man, it's so stressful. Because with an 80 kg line, I'm going to snap my rod first. Well, we only have one. So, yes. I know I should cast 74. But uh, the first time I went beluga fishing... Um, you know, big, uh, I think, uh, it was who, a decoder, someone else who's also beluga fished a lot. He also said, get a bigger line on 74 is not big enough. So it's super scary for me. <sighs> uh, we got to put uh, 112. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, 20 meter. Corsair, hi, how's it going? Uh, now the math... Mathematics, 1,000 silver in 2 hours. Adventure cost 32 grand silver. Half on 64 hours of fishing to buy a new reel. I've quit our forts. Too much grind. It's a free to game... It's a free to play game, so it's stupid amount of grind. Um... But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, 30 meters. Wow, 30 meters is so far. Uh, B5. What the hell? B5? I've never seen this spot before. Where in B5? Uh, I went for Sturge, hooked a 93 kg, uh, Beluga. Esport, hi, we were talking about you, I believe. To go, oh man. Your ears are bleeding. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Thank you so much, Gustav. Okay. Uh, what, what, what was I doing? Alright, 30 meter clip. It's C5. Damn it! What are you doing, slots? C5. What the hell? I've never fished C5 either. What kind of who is this? Hold on, I I don't trust you anymore. I gotta I gotta look at the map online here. Uh, tuba. Tuba, forty-one one oh eight. Wow, I've never fished this spot before. B five is correct. B five is correct. Okay. Uh, 84, 90, 30 meter, okay, Shaffer larva, 30 meter. Uh, just joking on clips came in and helped me max drag that beluga. It was stressful, damn. It's to the hole, right? So you basically stand here, I think, and you cast this way or maybe this way. Uh, when I get there, then, uh, you know, guide me. Guide me. So. But 
Oh no, I forgot. I forgot to make more PBA. God damn it. How much do we have? Uh, we have 10, 14, 16. We're only going to put on one rod right now, so we have enough. Okay, so definitely I need to remember the next time I go beluga, uh, sorry, not beluga, uh, fishing for regular sturgeons uh, that I got to make PVA. It's not C5? No, I think it's uh, it's originally uh, B5. Alright, how do we get there? Okay, like this. Cool. Uh, it is not free to play, but free to pay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't spent a cent on this game. And I'm not going to. I guess I just want to prove to people that you can make it in this game. Get all end gear stuff without paying a cent. They sure as hell are trying their best uh, that it is not possible because they've been nerfing uh, everything in this game over the, you know, the two years I've been playing. But man. Oh, tree. Yeah, slots you as well. Yeah, it, there's a lot of people who, uh, who haven't paid a cent. It's just if you're not going to pay, you're just going to have to play a lot, lot, lot more. A lot longer. Uh, to get the endgame stuff. Can I park here? Good sir. Yeah, okay. The grind is... Yeah, the grind... Is part of it. Uh, 41108. Here we go. So I'm casting like this, I guess. Is this where you, where you casted? Perfect, thank you. Damn, that's like at the end of the river. You put maybe 15 euros for 3 day premium. See, like, um, back in the day when I had a lot more time in 2020, um, there was a time where I really wanted to buy premium, but people kept telling me, hey, don't buy premium yet, you know, they're going to have a summer sale, buy it then. The summer sale never came, so I started waiting for the year-end sale, you know. The year-end sale never came either. And then by then... You know, like I, I started working, I had full-time jobs, so like I didn't have time to play full-time RF4. And since I can't, I, since I couldn't play RF4 almost every day, there was no reason for me to buy premium because that was just a waste of money. So, <laughs> so in the end, like I just never, never did anything. Why is this line having slack? I think my weight is not heavy enough. I've, uh, either enjoy it enough to stick around or you don't, yeah. Alright, so, uh, Beluga 31 meter or 32. Alright, next thing I need for tomorrow is a gibble spot. Because if we are to try beluga fishing for tomorrow, um, I'm going to need uh, giblets. I'm on mole. 
Yeah, beep, 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 bing. Beep, 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 all right. Uh, one thirteen, one oh eight on October for Gibbles. Really? Ooh. Okay. Uh, bait. The thing is, I need like a screenshot of the setup. You know what size took, what liter. One one three one oh eight. I'm writing all of this down. Bait fish. Uh, one thirteen. Tuba. Wow. Wow. That was super quick. Unfortunately, this is not a beluga or a sturge, but damn. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, DT Gaming. Have a great rest of, uh, of your day. Thank you. What is this? Maybe like a, a small sturge? Oh, yes. That is the fastest bite ever. 10 KT Russian sturgeon. Gustav has the Irish rubbed on that perch. Oh my god. Sorry, not perch. Uh, <laughs> the gibble. I gotta tell him. <laughs> and now we're out of gibble. Does anyone have live gibble? None of these dead ones are gonna work. Damn it. That was super sweet. <laughs> Alright, Gus is watching too. Thank you, everyone. Uh is perch gonna work? Hold on, let me let me ask Beg. Will live perch work here or only Because if live perch isn't gonna work, like there's no point for me to ask you for it. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Although they might have higher Persian or something else. <gasps> nice. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, it's a dead, dead gibble. We don't need to worry. All right. So with live perch, we have a chance of getting. Oh, thank you. Uh, Illid. Eladigus. Hey, WTF, hi. Apologies if I missed you. Uh, perch. Wait, are you guys giving me dead perch? I don't want dead perch. I want life perch. What the hell? You gave me... Oh, no, these are life perch. Thank you. For a moment, I was like, yo. Oh, no, that's not a far enough cast. I gotta do this again. Ah, uh, no. This is too heavy. Yikes. I'm hurting my... Oh, I forgot to change the clip. Oh my god, I'm just... <clears throat> okay. What else? Thank you, Mr. Gustav. All right, well, now we wait. We got live perch on one. We got uh, mole cricket, crikey. And then we got shaffer larva with a size one hook. So let's see what we get. What a surprise, a 11 kg sturge out of nowhere. I was not expecting to get anything so quick. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Personally, I think beluga bait is dictated more on bait spot rather than what belugas actually want at 
the time. <laughs> biggest, biggest telling Krim to shut up because <laughs> he doesn't know anything about Belugas. Oh my god, you gotta be, you gotta be careful who you listen to, because <laughs> anyone can sound like a pro on the internet. Oh my god, oh, is this? No, it's just a bait. Uh, messing around with us for a moment. I was like, wait, do we already have a fish on again? Yo, Big is savage when it comes to belugas. He does not take, he does not take some <laughs> crap about anything when it comes to belugas. Guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I hope your Saturday's going good. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Please tell your friends, families, your cats, dogs, alpacas, whatever farm animals you have to subscribe to this channel. As we are all about fishing. Thank you so much, guys. I... It, there's, there's no reason to send any more. I think I have enough for not going to be sitting here for hours on end. Uh, I appreciate all the all the donations. Life perch. But tomorrow I'm gonna try before the start of stream. I'm gonna try um farming uh farming gibbles. Gibbles. And then we will do the same thing. I think two rods we will have uh, live bait on and then the weakest rod we can have maybe mold cricket on it or whatever is the most active uh, bait Yeah, the live perch is not I guess as efficient or your orange isn't as high to hook on to any decent belugas compared to uh, compared to gibbles. I mean, I got two rods out, right? Besides the life bait, so. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> another guy hey, we got a gibble uh, i'm gonna save this gibble for tomorrow unless we finish the perch but honestly we have so many live perch now we have one two three four five live perch six live perch damn damn <laughs> how 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 are you getting this <laughs> uh do belugas so right now at the spot uh belugas are biting on gibbles crucians i don't know i haven't beluga fished enough to really know what they go on um a few weeks ago they were going on live perch in this spot or at the spot they're going on uh gibbles so Ah, uh, Gustav, thank you so much. Gustav ended up donating uh, gibbles to us in order to show support. Check out, check out Gustav, his channel. He does a lot of streaming competitions. Uh, do join Gustav's um, uh, Discord where you can enroll. Uh, for competitions, he does major giveaways to winners and stuff like that. It's, it's really, it's really good. Oh, man. Ugh. All right, Mole. I'm really hoping Mole, Mole's going to get something here.
One, two, oh wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. And uh, live bait survive for two IRL days. So even if we don't use it today, it's okay. Uh, we can save it for tomorrow. And we can have two rods out. <laughs> paid promotion. <laughs> this video contains paid promotion. <laughs> Anytime. Hey, ooh. Okay, we had a nibble. Oh. Please be a big one. Okay, it's something. It's something. There we go. 5.5 kg Russian. Coolio. <laughs> They'll be better when they're smelly. <laughs> Wait, did I have to change anything here? I just put a slightly heavier wig because I don't want it to roll with the current. Perch. What? What? What about perch? Like, I still have perch on this. I'm going to keep the perch for today. Uh, tomorrow we will use all the crucians. I mean, if we are going to go proper beluga fishing for tomorrow's stream, might as well do it properly. Today it's just experimental. You know, we got perch going on. We got mole cricket, apparently. You know, Russians are coming on mole. Uh, Sterlets are coming on chaffer larva. So why the hell not? Oh. Why is it so loud all of a sudden? I think Ladoga Sturge is the only sturgeon I've not caught yet. We've caught every other type of sturge. Uh, Black Sea Beluga is the only type of beluga I haven't caught. But that's also because I've never fished for Black Sea Beluga. And apparently they go on Dead Perch, which I really like because... Everyone has that perch. You got a small Ladoga Sturge yesterday. Nice. Nice. Was it worth a lot of money? Like money per kg? Nice. You got one as well, Gustav. A nice looking fish. Better than the BS Beluga? Oh, Baltic. Baltic Sturge. Yeah, because I think uh, the Ladoga Sturge is slightly like mold color, I think. Interesting. And I never need Black Sea Beluga go for dead perch. That's good info. 
I remember a long time ago. You know what? Not even a long time ago. Let's just go on weeklies and check. But from what I remember, it was on uh, Bla uh, sorry, on uh, Dead Perch. More greenish. That is kind of like mold. Uh, beluga, Black Sea Beluga. Perch, obviously we don't know if it's live or dead perch, but I've, again, I've heard a long time ago. But you can see Gibble, there's Crusion. Interesting. More greenish. Cool. Oh no. They said there was going to be a thunderstorm, I think, tomorrow or today, and now they're saying there isn't. What's going on here? Nice. Because, like, it's kind of getting cloudy, and, like, that that scares me. I don't want a thunderstorm. You got a 28 kg on life perch. What? Hey. Did we have a fish all of a sudden? Nice! 28 kg already. Five kg sterlet, nice. Come on, we got oh, 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 Tagara. Yes. Okay, it's not. It's not completely tiny. It's actually an okay size. If this is a sterlet, it's gonna be maybe five kg. That is not a sterlet. Seven point five kg Russian. Okay, on the shaft for larva. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. That is good. It's not a sterlet, but hey, it's another sturge. How long have we been here? 16 minutes. Alright, uh, mole cricket, right? Had five. So all three have gotten a sturge. Yeah, there's gonna be wild carps and other trash fish on it. Nah, no, that's fine. I remember, guys, er, remember like a few weeks ago, uh, this spot, like right here across, was active. Was it this spot? I think it was this spot from like over there, I think. And like, oh no, I think it was over there. I don't remember, but it was on that side. And we got so many Russian sturgeons in one hour. We got big Persian sturgeon. And it was such an amazing spot. Like we were killing it. On stream, off stream, I was just doing so good. Oh, 11 kg Persian. No, it was another Sturge. I think it was a Baltic then. I don't remember. We have like a 48 kg Sturge we got that day maybe or... Right, Baltic. Oh, Stellet. Yes. I love Stellet. They look so cool. Look at that. 43.895 kg Stellet we got on stream. Damn, Slot. Thanks. You remember. Man, Stellet looks so cool because it's, it's a stronger color. Like, it's a lot darker. And it has the pointy nose. Such a cool looking fish. Darden, hi, how's it going? Welcome. You never caught a Bellarabitsa? Yeah. I know. It's been like a year I've been saying, yeah, guys, you know, someday I'll try on stream. But I just... I don't know. I just... It's the two-stage... It's the two-stage that kills me. First, you gotta farm the bait fish, then you gotta go all the way in a tuba to go after the bellows. 
I think that's why I've never beluga fished because one, it's a really slow form of fishing. Two, it's very big fish. So you gotta, you know, fight a fish for hours on end. And third, you gotta uh, farm bait fish. Yeah, I've... yeah, Bellarab, it's a whitefish. That's that's a ghost Bellarab, it's a whitefish, guys. That's very rare. Disregard this text, it's a bug, okay? You know, we know this game is very buggy, okay? This it's it's a really rare fish. It's a ghost. Bellarab, it's a whitefish. I know it's not a big fish. I know. That's why I haven't gone for it. <laughs> and it's a very expensive fish. You make a lot of money if you do catch a trophy, so. Seven to eight hundred gold. Yeah. Not even a bycatch? No, I've not even ever had a bycatch. I don't know. <laughs> Someday, hopefully soon, we will go after Bellows. I should drink tea. Well, farming bait fish is absolutely boring. Guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't already. Subscribe. Subscribe for more. Why the hell not? Uh... Yeah. Farming Simulator 2022 R4 Edition. Just farming bleaks, bait fish, hours on end. <laughs> Work from home efficiency, nice. Oh. Who's gonna be next? Oh, damn it. It's that bait fish. It always throws me off. Uh, yeah, we should have gone for catfish first, actually. And then we should have gone for these guys. Because since we already rented out a one hour boat rental, I mean, why the heck not, right? We should have gone for cats first, but it's okay. To be honest, I don't think I have enough energy to go catfishing first and then come here. Or do this first and then go catfishing. I think this is going to be enough for me. <sighs> I do have PBA. Patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. Now, this 
spot. Is it hard to get spooled here? I don't think so. I think as long as we keep the fish to the left, we should be good because we can walk all the way up here. I like it. Okay, I like the spot. We can walk all the way up. So this entire area from here all the way to let's say here. Uh, we can fight. Obviously, this area is a little sketch. Dig. Yes. Damn it. You. Uh, uh, G D Gaming. Hi, welcome. Ephorox, nice to have two tables now because of 496 gram Wendy's. No idea what that means. If the f uh, hold on, guys. Uh, hmm. Give me a moment here, guys. Do I need two T's after digging? I think I do. Uh, if the fish goes to the right, it gets stuck on the bend. It's, it's not bad. Uh, yeah. But it's a little, yeah, I guess if it goes this way, we can always walk back and prevent it from coming here. Okay, okay, that works too. Um, <clears throat> two tables, two trophies. What? Okay, uh, Sturge, hello. Where are you? <laughs> Come on, Sturge. So basically, you caught a 496 kg when days when trophy is 500 gram, right? So hard you broke your table in half. Ah. If such a tiny, meaningless fish is making your rage that hard, I think you. Might have issues. <laughs> and yes, that is poor craftsmanship on the table. That is made out of paper.
Oh, come on, let's go. Twenty six KG Persian Sturgeon weekly record. Not a big Persian, but I mean it's a weekly now, which means interesting fish are coming out from this spot. All right, Shaffer Larva. Hmm. Exactly one minute from now. <laughs> I mean, is anyone keeping track of time? <laughs> Man, I really don't like how the bait fish, it just moves around so much. You know, you get slack, you get tension, and you're always like, oh, that's a fish, that's a fish, but it's, it's not. Just got a 14.43 kg Ladoga salmon. Damn, congrats. All we got was 30 kg Baltic. Okay, okay. 13 kg, not 14. Like, come on, it's been half hour. 
Um, I thought it would be more active on the moles at least. We shall wait of some more. See, like I expect beluga fishing to be this slow. Yeah, leaders do make a difference. I remember for East Siberian Sturge, I used leaders and I got so many East Siberian Sturge. It could just be RNG. Sometimes those Sturge are so active and that you'll catch a couple you catch a decent amount in one hour and sometimes you'll just catch two or three am i gonna raid i mean who is gus starting a stream and who am i gonna raid i have no one Ah, damn. Gus is busy. He's preparing. You're going to be streaming tomorrow night. Practice run for the league opening. Wow. A new season of league? Oh, man. This is going to be intense. You got a lot of really good people. And a lot of very competitive people. And a lot of people with very good RNG. So... All the best. Can you pull out an e Siberian trophy with the leader? Well, how big of a leader? Is the question. Loads of prizes and giveaways. Damn. Okay, we got something small here. Wow, something very small so small it could be a friggin bait fish oh yeah what the heck it is a baby sturge on life bait but uh where's my life perch perch life perch okay Uh, ooh, Mark is in the league. Okay. GD Gaming, dig next time. Asking because 82 KG Sturge almost spooled me with the adventure without a leader. Yeah, how did... I don't know. Maybe he was swimming and our perch just went into its nostril. The life bait just bit. Our sturge and then leave. Why? I don't want to waste my my teas. Uh, there's already 23 people registered. Oh my god. That is the best dig I've ever had. Shaffer Lerwe and a mole cricket. Wow. Damn, that's good. That is good. Oof. Yeah. Man, 23 people in the league. 
Damn. <laughs> no, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just... Ah, oh, man. You're making me feel bad now. <laughs> you predicted that. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I don't see a prediction here. Okay. I don't I don't see a prediction, so there's no proof. <laughs> uh but on my phone my stream is literally a few minutes behind. Like I just now got the baby Russian sturgeon on my cell phone stream. It's so bad, the app. <laughs> Uncle Gus got you, yes. Thank you, Uncle Gus. The crazy uncle. The crazy Irish. <laughs> okay. Uh, 40 minutes. F oh, God. That was, that was a non-marker. My... 40 minutes, one fish, one mark. Uh, sorry, what? 40 minutes, three markers. Yeah, like when I refresh the app, um, sometimes my chat will stop, <laughs> stop working. So it's like, I'd rather not. As long as the chat is working for me, I will not refresh it. And sometimes like the viewer count doesn't work. It's just, it's so bad, I don't know. They just don't care. I know for like a good year or so, uh, my viewer count wasn't working. Sometimes it would work, sometimes, most of the time it wouldn't work. It's only recently it started working again. So, it is poop. That's why we should go to uh, to Twitch. Oh wait, did I drink tea after that? I did. Okay. Uh, red. Never. Why? What's wrong with Twitch? Why don't you like Twitch? Like I told everyone why I didn't go with Twitch. Uh, but when this channel becomes big enough, I will eventually move my streams to Twitch. So like daily videos, you know, Monday to Friday will be YouTube and then streams will all be on Twitch. That's the plan. Drink that coffee instead. Sir, yes, sir. Man, I'm... I'm living like a king. Just for energy, you know, drinking coffee, sure. <laughs> Can't see yourself swapping over. And something tiny. It's just the features on Twitch are so many more features, it's insane. Wow, not even a marker. Why? Why, por favor? Uh, let me go mole on this as well. Yeah, it's just, you can interact with your viewers so much more because there's just so many more features. So. I'm so good at sleeping that I can do it with my eyes closed. Would you like a 30 second ban? Because that will actually be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So <laughs> I'm kidding. Um in uh, in 2020, I actually um 
I've had a Twitch account for a very, very, very long time. And I actually did a test stream on it. I actually played Counter-Strike. And I streamed it. So, <laughs> I have that. <laughs> you hate Twitch. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. Like, people either only watch Twitch or people only watch YouTube. And both sides just hate each other. <laughs> um, and there's some people, you know, some people who watch both, like me. So it's that, uh, what do you call it? Like loyalty, I guess? Very loyal fan base. You hate Twitch, you can't deal with it, why? What's, what's wrong with Twitch? Like, why do you hate Twitch? And what do you mean you cannot deal with it? Is it too... Like, is it hard to manage? Finding stuff for people, or... General layout, yeah. To be honest, if you want to search up a stream on YouTube, it's atrocious. It's so bad. So I'm surprised you say that. Because, like, um, recently, I think several times it's happened where, you know, like, a game came out. And I only wanted to watch stream a stream of that game. I didn't want to watch the stupid, you know, clickbait videos on the game. And it was so hard for me to find it. I went on the streaming uh, section on YouTube. And it just gives you general games that you can click and find people streaming those. You can't even search for the game you want to find a stream of. You got to do it another way. You got to, you know search for that game on YouTube and then from the the settings you gotta select you know live stream only and like it's, it's so stupid I don't know why they do that techno hi how's it going I am doing good how about you how about you I think YouTube will be up to speed in time I hope so it's they're very 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 slowly bringing in features that Twitch has. And honestly, they need to implement all this, uh, all the features of Twitch first. I don't care if you copy them, it works. So hell yeah, copy them, do all those features, and then move forward, add more things that Twitch doesn't have. But they just, I don't know what they're doing. It's like, I feel like they're not serious about it. So. Uh, I have some issues logging in, and no matter what browser I use, it lags. It never works smoothly. Damn. How are the storage going? Not great. 47 minutes. We just have three. You know, I now have two mole crickets out. And I'm just not getting... Uh, temperature is good. It's not 39, 40 degrees Celsius. So, I don't know. It's just... Not the best RNG time. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. I gotta... I gotta show before you guys shout at me. Uh, the show was a groundbreaking invention. <laughs> you really won. <laughs> Use these now. Thank you. Do I? I... Swap out. Okay, boss. Uh, copy the skeleton of Twitch. Flesh it out with your own way. Exactly. That li like literally everyone does that. When something works, they abuse it. Right? Like on YouTube, you know. S oh wait, not perch. Uh. Yeah. I. So. Damn it, I, I keep forgetting to change the clip on this rod. Uh, maybe you're... <laughs> you're in Discord I can't use comfortably. Uh, 
Uh, Twitch, I understand for the most part, right? Like as a user, yeah, I know Twitch, I think mostly 90% I would say, but managing a channel is just too much. Like there's so many different stupid things you got to deal with. And, uh, you know, the one social media site I do not get is Twitter. It's so stupid. I just don't know how the hell it works. It's like someone says something and you do the recycle button. And like it does, I don't know what, but apparently that's how it works. Matrix, hi, how's it going? You're so happy because you did your first fishing knot today. Nice! Ah, I remember when I did my very first successful polymer knot. I was so happy. I thought I was a professional fisherman. And then I... Then I got it stuck on the carpet because I uh, assembled the knot on the carpet and the hook got stuck in the carpet. So, uh, not a pro move there. But it was a start. <laughs> uh, Twitch has more issues than YouTube. Last one, what is a pirate's most important vitamin? <laughs> vitamin C. <laughs> Oh uh, man, that's not bad. Never even had anything there. You're making page two of episode from your comic. Okay, okay. Uh, we gotta get the shovel. Damn it! Get the shovel. Hey, mole cricket again. Yes. Uh, seriously though, can I get like a skill point in this, please? Where is it? Harvesting ground bait? Did I drink a coffee? I think I did. Okay. Uh, the only time you got Twitter was to wood for Minecraft mobs. <laughs> then I uninstalled it. So like, I have Twitter, I have, um... Ay ay ay, what is uh Instagram. The only reason I even remembered inst the name Instagram because there's Insta Thought. And I'm not gonna expand on that, but that's the only reason I know. <laughs> so I have accounts in all those websites because like when I started full time YouTubing, you know, all big YouTubers have these accounts. So I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it too. So I have all those accounts. In the beginning, I tried, you know, updating all the sites when I was releasing videos, but later on, I just stopped. Teddy, you hooked your shoe on the hook and I pressed it too hard and broke the hook. Ouchie. Me hook. <laughs> oh, man. Twenty-seven likes. Thank you so much for all the likes, guys. I know we can hit thirty likes today. So I'm on Discord. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. If you go to my channel page, you'll see that I have two posts. I have five followers. What the heck? Oh, wow. Look at this. So I have a photo of my gaming PC when I was assembling it and then I have my gaming PC table. <laughs> that is such a sad channel I have. Wow. Hey, shh, shh, Jess, shh, shh. What, what the heck, Jess? Not supposed to say that. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the likes. 0.18 millimeter line very pro for 100 kg catfish. Yes, sir. This is not good. <laughs> I will admit. I have gone on that website to open a new account. I am not kidding. Yes. Uh, but 
I think it asks for too many personal information and I'm like, yo, screw this. And I closed it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Cause, uh, it's not only about what you think it is about. Like, I know I've seen ads on like discord or somewhere where like, if you're, if you do, you know, like projects and stuff, uh, you can, you can use that site. Uh, but yeah, like Sloth said, you know, that site is unfortunately tarnished because like it's only associated with that type of stuff, that type of content. So maybe I shouldn't open an account there. Maybe I should go to, uh, what's that site? Wink. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what's that other site, guys? Damn it. Like, where you p pay your favorite person, like, monthly or whatever, and they post, like, updates and stuff. I know there's a few sites like that. You know that chick who sold bathwater? She's making tens of millions of dollars every year cashing in on simps. What's that site called? That's the site I want to go on. No, there's another site besides that one. Uh, patron. I think that's patron. Like I know artists and like everyone basically artists, comic book, you know, makers, stuff like that. They're all on that website. Patron, yes. No, oh, we we know we know only fans, yes. Uh besides that patron is the it's the the general I guess site like i think even indie game developers are on patreon no indie games are another site star citizen uh what's that site but that's for you know like developers video game developers and stuff like that Oh my god, maybe I should stop talking, you know? Maybe if we actually got a freaking fish, we could actually talk about something decent. Kickstarter, yes. But Kickstarter is for, like, businesses, right? So video game developers are abusing that. Um, I think Patreon is, like, the, the most appropriate one. But honestly, what the hell do you do on Patreon? It's like... You pay someone monthly and they just post photos of their work or designer stuff. <laughs> I would have stopped talking 20 minutes ago. I know, I'm just digging myself deeper here. This is not going to make the highlights. Just FYI, okay? Yeah, but you know, like, on Kickstarter, honestly... It's just being abused by crappy indie developers. Honestly. It's just shovelware. Like literally like I'm holding her. You like the shovel. <laughs> Insta thought. Yo, I'd be an Insta thought if I could make millions per year. I've biked a lot, like bicycled, I've biked a lot during my youth. So, you know. Wear yoga pants, boom, million followers. Come on, energy, let's go. There we go. What do we have? Oh, yeah. Wow, two of them. Man, I didn't know... Hitting shovel on the ground was this good. 
cuss. Yo. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have three of these. I have used this before, yes. You got a two kg little ghost church. Honestly, I feel like you're just messing around with us. <laughs> uh, that is some insane RNG you have, Matt. That was your last one? No. <laughs> you should ask if I have one before sending it over. Damn it. Ah, uh, man. Thank you. Thank you, though. I have three. So, you know, during Christmas event, probably they're going to give us a uh, free premium. So, I'm going to probably, you know, give the two away. If I can... Uh, can we even give them away, actually? Yeah, I should be able to. Uh, it is possible to send this item to another player. Perfect. Blacklisted. <laughs> uh, change the spot to where? Like, where am I going to go? This is the only Sturgeon spot. I'm a scammer. Yes, yes. Exactly. Uh oh. You guys caught on. Oh man. Yeah, no, this this is the the only active spot right now, so our best chance of getting sturgeons are right here. Uh apparently mole cricket is the best bait. Well oh, that's working. Uh, unfortunately I've got nothing yet. And I thought, you know, hey, and go for belugas at the same time with giblets. Uh, nothing like that as well. I just hope tomorrow when we go beluga fishing here, uh, we can do better. Why am I not catching fish? The slots told me to come here. That's why. Worm. Yes. Precisely. Worm. See, I'm not going to give it a... Tr I'm not going to get a triple digit fish. Um, if I'm not beluga fishing like this. Before I hit level 40, so... Unfortunately, tomorrow's stream, let's see how it goes. It's not, you know, high octane, getting a trophy here, getting, you know, 500 silver per hour there. It's going to be just waiting around like today type of stream. And I have to do it because off stream, guys, I'm just so tired of this game. I like after a stream, I cannot play this game unless there's a really good active spot that I really want to check out for, you know, to make a video. Uh, but that hasn't been happening, so. How long have I been here? One hour, two minutes, three fish hot. Damn. I am very patient. <laughs> uh... Matt, join the club. 55 kg leader, gone. 42 kg leader, gone. The only time I've ever had pike trophies on. Both cut off. And both of those were caught on video. So do check them out if you want. They are on the channel. 
I mean, listen, you were getting Ladoga Sturge, okay? So it was about time you had to pay back that RNG. Get out of here, Gus. Blue tag pike is easy. Okay. Yes, it's easy unless, you know, the stupid thing bites your leader off. There isn't even a 45 kg steel leader in the game. Uh, the biggest steel leader you can get is 22 kg. Like, come on guys, please. I just, I need one more Sturge before I can, I can leave. <laughs> you know, Tijo has been catching a lot of catfish. I'm not going to lie. He's been catching double digit catfish for a while now. So, no, I don't want to go to Tunguska Small River. I've had enough of this game. We're going to stick around for a bay here. Originally, yes, Tunguska was planned, but just waiting around not getting fish honestly it takes a lot of energy out of you. Like if we were doing good in sturgeon fishing, honestly, I would have stayed the entire stream. Yeah, it does say that, but at the beginning of the stream, I said if we have time, we will go Tunguska. I wanted to. I think we're probably going to do it tomorrow. So. Nah. I don't want to use two odd hooks. Because even with four odd, like I'm getting tiny fish. And I'm using a size one hook. Avid mole cricket here. Look at this size one hook mole cricket. I'm using two rods with mole crickets for sturgeon with PVA, nothing. So with three rods, honestly, it's not going to make that much of a difference. I think you're mistaking RNG with skill. Mm. I know, I know. I know. <laughs>
Heavy leader. 45 kg. Any day now. Did I drink tea yet? Yeah, I did drink uh, coffee. Not tea, coffee. Uh, you're using 45 kg liter what? Fluorocarbon or steel? Because, like I said, I've only seen a 22 kg steel liter. The biggest size. So during a certain time of day, uh, the background sound changes. Okay. And uh, one sound is a lot louder than the other one. So it just goes to show you how, how poorly they've done with this game. for larva, yes. Seventeen. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Jessica. I hope you have a great night. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, we finally have something. Opa. Oh, it's something small. It's something tiny. I can even run with this. That's not good. That is absolutely not good. Okay. Let's see how small this guy is. Fifteen. <laughs> uh, finally the mole cricket delivers for the fifteen at KG. Hey, we are about at 20, 29, almost 30 likes, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, you need 2 million XP to catch up. Hey, you said I'm going to get Sterlitz on Shaffer. I did not, so I just switched over. I didn't bother. Um, I think that's going to be it from me, honestly. 
I don't think I'm gonna get anything. Cause it's gonna, ugh. it's gonna be noon time now. Uh, which means bite rate is just gonna die out. Even though it's sturgeon and belugas and they don't care, I guess, what time they eat. Uh, but tomorrow let's do a beluga stream. Let's, let's go all out on them. Let's at least try to catch one marker beluga tomorrow. So, let's go ahead and sell these guys and see how much money we made. Let me restart the game here. Any day now. <laughs> you have two cats because <laughs> I don't think I've ever caught one. Uh, Caspian. Yeah, I've never caught a Caspian Kutum. Yo, screw the leader. I'm not. I don't care for Sterlitz anymore. Because without a leader, I should have gotten a button I didn't in a very long time. Caspian Kutum. Is this float fishing? Oh, wow. Crawfish, crayfish tail? Uh huh. <laughs> I don't have it. Okay. Uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, two good spots for the... Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing. 1 hour 16 minutes, 200 silver. Okay, okay. Almost 100 silver for 15 kg. Damn. Uh... Yeah, that's going to be it for the stream today. Thank you so much for tuning in, helping me out. Uh, thank you, Gustav, for everything as well. Tomorrow, we are going to start off here. We're going to go for belugas. Let's see how long we can do that for. One hour, two hours. You know, hopefully right at the beginning of the stream, I hook on to like 100, 200 kg. That's an hour worth of fight right there. Good entertainment. And then let's see, maybe we'll go Tunguska and hang out in the small river or something. I don't know. We'll see what's active tomorrow and what's not. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me. Gustav, Slot. Anyone else? I will, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. Bye.